Welcome to Detail and in this video I am going to show you around Detail's video view and together we are going to create a talking head selfie video which is just you talking to camera exactly like I am doing right now. By the way, yes, this whole video was recorded and edited in detail. I'm also going to show you some niche features to help you enhance your video and uh, yeah, let's get started. Get out your phone. Let's do this. When opening the app, if you don't land in this video view, you simply tap this big plus button. If you're now in the video view and you can't see yourself, but you can see what the rear camera is showing, you're simply going to switch the cameras by tapping this little switcheroo icon. And then now you can see, hopefully see yourself. Now you can either record vertically like this, but you can also rotate your phone and record yourself horizontally, which is how I've recorded this exact video that you're watching. Um, the cool thing is that later on, you can change the aspect ratio to repurpose the content for other platforms, but a good rule of thumb is to always record in the main platform you're going to share this video on. So for instance, because this video you're watching right now is going to be on YouTube, I've recorded it horizontally by rotating my phone. Now, if you are like me and struggle to remember an entire script, <laughs> which this video is like a few minutes long, I would not be able to remember every single thing. You want to read a script while you're recording. The cool thing is that you can tap this little icon here, which will bring up the invisible teleprompter. And then you can simply copy and paste your entire script into there and you can read it while you're recording. I recommend doing a little test run to see if the speed works for you. So you can adjust the speed in this little icon here. Um, and if it doesn't work for you, then you can just kind of speed it up or slow it down until it feels right. You can always also just pause um, while you're recording, go back up and kind of reread again. Remember, everything that you're recording can be edited. So the teleprompter is invisible, so it's not going to show up when you recorded your video, just so you know. Now, if you want to use a microphone, you can either plug it into your phone right over here, or you can use a wireless Bluetooth mic, which will come up in detail. You can check out the gear playlist on our YouTube channel for all the mics and tripods and other gear we recommend for recording with. Right, now that we are ready to record your selfie video, what you're gonna do is just gonna simply hit that big red plus button and you're gonna record your video, read your script, la 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 la, record, record, and then you're gonna hit stop when you're ready to stop recording. Just, I would recommend just recording even if you make mistakes, you can always edit them out later. When you have stopped recording, you will have your first recorded selfie video and then now we are going to check out some neat options to level it up. First things first, you want to add some captions, right? Now captions are free, standard, with detail, but if you want to customize them, you'll need to go pro, which is totally fine. But if you just want standard captions, easy peasy, we can go over here, check out the captions, customize them, center them, move them around, um, place them where you want. Um, but when you're happy with that, we can move on to a little bit more editing. The next thing you're probably going to want to do is remove all those nasty silences in between your video or maybe where you've made some mistakes and you want to delete sentences. There is an amazing feature in this app that is going to help you do that. So it is called Story Editor. Basically what it is, is a text-based editor in the detail app for iPhone. So to get there, you're going to basically tap this little um, transcript story editor button here. And that is going to ask you to generate a transcript. So just tap generate. When you're there, you're going to be able to see um, your entire transcript of the video that you just made. And there's a lot of cool options here. So like we said earlier, we want to remove all the silences. So to do that, you're going to tap these three dots here and you're going to select all silences and delete all. Done. Now all the awkward silences are removed from the video, which means the video is shorter, it's more engaging and it's more punchy. You could also edit your entire video like this. So let's say like you've made some mistakes, you want to just delete those sentences, you can simply swipe to delete the sentences you don't want. You can also, instead of deleting pieces of the, the video, you can rather just edit by selecting the only the pieces that you want. You just simply scroll through the transcript, um, you're going to first tap these three dots and um, go into selection mode, 
and you're gonna just choose the bits that you want and that you can export as a brand new video. You'll also notice that you can see chapters. Now chapters are um, generated by AI and they're basically like milestones in your video. So if you wanted to, let's say, generate shorter clips from this longer video, you could um, select an entire chapter and just export that as a new video. Um, you could also be able to just scroll quite easily through your transcript to see and remember where you were. But either way, this is a text-based editor. It's quite fun to use. If you don't want to use text-based editing, you can still edit in the timeline. You just simply go back to the timeline here, scroll through it. You can split by tapping where you want to split. You can um, delete little clips by tapping delete if you want to edit it in that way too. Okay, so once you've kind of gotten the framework down, so you've removed the silences, you've picked out the pieces you want, you've got captions, it's now time to play with a few things that you could do to enhance the actual look of the video. The first thing that you can try is um, the portrait filters. Now with selfie videos, it's quite cool to try and adjust the filters, the lighting, the color, and the portrait filters here, you can either just use the standard ones that come with the app, which blur the background or change the color slightly. But you can also play around with these cool AI portrait filters where you can like give the AI an instruction um, or a, a, a tone or a movie that you like, and it will kind of generate a filter for you. Now, if you're not so happy with the background of your video, it's quite easy to green screen yourself and put yourself onto a better background. Um, an image or something that comes with the app as well. There's a few that we have in here, just plain colors. We've also got cool scenes that you can try just like this. So you're going to change the layout to uh, big green screen mode, da -da, and then you're going to um, replace the background. So by tapping background, you're going to either choose colors or you're gonna choose one of these um, cool backgrounds that we've got in the app. You can also add your own background, whether it's a video or an image. Now, let's move on because you have now got a beautiful looking video with captions that's fully edited. It's ready to share. So we're going to move on to sharing it. To do that, you're just gonna tap export here and simply save it. Now, if you, um, like me, also struggle with writing copy, um, all the time you can simply use the ai generated title and descriptions remember your video has to be a minute longer for this to work um, but that's really helpful for when you just want to get a good start on like what the descriptions it should say what the copy should say um other thing to note that is if you um, download the transcript um, and you're putting this video onto youtube um, it will download transcript with the markers for you and chapters so that when you upload it onto youtube you'll know exactly where the chapters are and you can add them in youtube studio when you're uploading it and you can download the audio you can also get generated highlights here if your video is quite long um, but that's it that is a selfie video done and dusted easy peasy teleprompter, transcript editing, text-based editing, a few enhancements. Like we said, if you'd like to go back, so you can save this out, maybe duplicate the project and change the aspect ratio for vertical or landscape, you can totally do that. The option is in the editing menu. And remember to subscribe to our channel um, for more content. And um, we update content weekly with new features, new ways to use the app, cool ideas. And always just remember that you can um, hit us up in support if you have any issues. That is it from me. Catch you on the next one.